Good morning, friends. Welcome to Storytime with Whitingfield MWR Library. I'm Miss Kelly, and I'm excited to read with you. Today, we are going to read about monsters for October's National Book Month. So our first book is Frankencrayon. The author who wrote the words is Michael Hall. Frankencrayon. Official notice, this picture book has been canceled. Please close the book and find something else to read. I can't believe it's been canceled. It was my first starring role. It was my first supporting role. Help! Someone just turned the page. Take my hand. Hey, someone must be reading this book. You're right. I'll talk to them. Ahem. Hello out there. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this picture book has been canceled. Tell them what happened. Tell them about the scribble. And don't leave anything out. Well, let's see. In the beginning, everything went according to plan. The crayons were in their costumes, and I was getting them into position. This should be fun. I'm so excited. I hope I don't forget my lines. Frankencrayon, go to page 22. That's where you'll make your dramatic entrance, just like we practiced. Right. Got it. Page 22. The story began with the frightened townspeople talking about a horrible monster lurking in their town. There is a horrible monster lurking in our town. Oh, no. I'm so scared. Suddenly, without warning, the lights went out. What is it, Amber? What is it? Someone turn on the lights, please. It was a scribble. It went all the way across two pages. It's horrifying, hideous, horrendous. A scribble can ruin a picture book. Don't worry. We'll take a short break while the crew cleans the page. But the scribble got bigger. I think we made it worse. It's absolutely awful, appalling atrocious. It's making a mess of our story. Cast members, we need more help. Even four crayons scrubbing hard couldn't stop the scribble. That didn't go well either. It's distressing, disturbing, dreadful. We need more help. Hurry, please. But the scribble was out of control. It's alive. We've created a monster. Let's get out of here. The story was falling apart, and that's when the really terrible news arrived. Official notice, we regret to tell you that we've decided to cancel this picture book. How come? We're almost halfway done. Official notice, because one, no one likes the scribble thing. Two, the characters are gone. Three, isn't there supposed to be a mad scientist in this story? Yes, but I dropped the mad scientist because he was difficult. Official notice, we know you're disappointed, but we ask that you leave this book right away. What could I do? I turned out the lights and left. And that's what happened. Whoa, hang on, that's not the whole story. You know what we're talking about. How you forgot to tell us. Okay, okay. Let's see. Well, I was pretty upset at the time, and in my sadness, I forgot to tell Frank and Crayon. So, on page 22. Roar! Wait, where are the frightened townspeople? Isn't this page 22? I'll turn on the lights. Hello? Who are you? I don't think I can talk. Let's give it a mouth. Hop off. Hello. I need to get moving. I'm late for an important event. Can you help me? Of course we can. It's what crayons do. I'll fix you up in a flash. Thank you. What a beautiful scribble. 
I wish you didn't have to go. Come on, let's find the frightened townspeople. Eventually, I came back to look for the costumes and found Frank and Crayon eating oranges in the green room. Where is everybody? I have terrible news. We have a few things to tell you, too. I guess that's about it. We'll probably never know who scribbled on the page to begin with, but at least this has been a learning experience for all of us. Right. Lesson number one, don't forget to tell everyone when a story has been canceled. Lesson number two, don't try to unscribble a scribble by scribbling on it. Lesson number three, even a messy scribble can be a lovely thing. Goodbye. Screech. Wait, don't forget lesson number four. Never drop the mad scientist from the Frankenstein story. Official notice. <laughs> Our next book is Duck and Goose Honk Quack Boo. Duck and Goose Honk Quack Boo. Duck and Goose sat watching as day slowly became evening. So, Goose, what are you going to be tomorrow? Duck asked. Goose hesitated. Be? Tomorrow? Well, I think I will be myself. Duck, it's important to always be yourself. Very true, Goose, except for tomorrow. Tomorrow is Halloween. It's the day not to be yourself. Suddenly, out of nowhere, Thistle appeared. Did someone say Halloween? I love Halloween. I'm not telling what my costume is. It's a secret, she quacked. As she sped off into the shadows, she called, See you tomorrow, and beware the swamp monster. Goose gulped. Swamp monster? Why would she say, beware the swamp monster? Hmm, maybe the swamp monster comes out on Halloween, Duck quacked. Duck, I am not a fan of monsters. I don't like monsters either, Goose. But I do like trick-or-treating. Later that night, Goose tried not to think about the swamp monster. A shiver ran up his spine as he watched clouds creep across the moon like ghosts. His beak quaked as he listened to the groaning wind rattle the branches. Duck closed his eyes and thought of a bag full of treats. The next day was Halloween. Duck got ready to go trick-or-treating. So did Goose. Meanwhile, Thistle was getting ready, too. While Goose waited for Duck, he spotted a scary ghost coming towards him. Hello, Goose, the ghost called. Are you ready to go trick-or-treating? Who are you? Goose honked. It's me, Duck. You look more like a ghost to me, Goose honked. How do I know you're not a ghost? I'm not really a ghost, Duck quacked. Look at my feet. Goose had to admit no one had feet like Duck. I'd recognize those feet anywhere, he honked. Then let's go, Duck quacked. Do you think we'll see a swamp monster tonight? Goose asked nervously. I hope not, Duck quacked. I hope we see lots of treats. When they reached the edge of the forest, trick-or-treating had already begun. Goose sighed with relief. No monsters in sight. Hello down there, called a squirrel. I see a spooky ghost and a brave superhero. Actually, these are costumes. We are duck and goose, honked goose. Trick or treat, quacked duck. Excuse me, said a friendly daisy. Did you say you are duck and goose? I just met a swamp monster who's looking for you. Goose froze. A swamp monster? He asked. Duck, why would a swamp monster be looking for us? I don't know, Goose, and I don't want to know. Oh, there's the swamp monster now, said the friendly daisy, and it's heading this way. 
Duck and Goose turned and saw the scariest, slimiest, and most hideous swamp monster ever. It's after us. Run, Duck, run, cried Goose. Duck and Goose took cover. They huddled together and were as quiet as they could be. They heard the thump, thump, thump of the swamp monster's footsteps getting closer and closer. Oh, Duck, Goose groaned. We're goners. The footsteps suddenly stopped. Duck, Goose, is that you? The swamp monster called. You're right, Goose, Duck whispered. We're doomed. Suddenly, Goose remembered his cape and the G on his chest. Duck, I am a brave superhero, and you are the spookiest ghost I've ever seen. And there are two of us and only one swamp monster. Goose whispered, we can scare it away. And with that, the brave superhero and the spooky ghost leapt out from behind the leafy bush. Goose honked his bravest honk and duck quacked his scariest quack. Boo! They hollered together. Yikes! You sure scared me, the swamp monster quacked. I've been looking everywhere for you. Thistle? Goose honked. Is that you? Duck quacked. How do you like my costume? Asked Thistle. I told you to beware the swamp monster. Pretty scary, aren't I? I've seen scarier, Duck quacked. We don't scare easily, Goose added. Well, that's good because it's time to go trick-or-treating, Thistle quacked. And so the ghost, the brave superhero, and the scariest, slimiest, most hideous swamp monster ever wandered the forest, filling their bags with Halloween treats. Later, back in the meadow, Duck and Goose sorted through their treats. In the light of the moon, they shared Halloween stories about a masked superhero, a spooky ghost, and a swamp monster who wasn't really that scary after all. The end. I hope you enjoyed reading with me about monsters to celebrate October's National Book Month. Join me each Wednesday on our Widingfield MWR Facebook page for more storytime adventures. Have a wonderful day.